This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. This lesson is part of two courses. It's part of the Express course, where it's Lesson 14, and it's part of Course D, where it's Lesson 11. I'm on Puzzle 10, Challenge Puzzle. Challenge puzzles are lessons designed to teach, designed to stretch your brain. Just do the best you can. I'm so ready. Challenge, fill in all these holes using as few blocks as possible. Ugh. All right, so they want us to use seven blocks or less. That's what that number means. I already see a lot of question marks, meaning we're going to have to use our new wall loop where we do something until it is done, I guess is what to say, right? So if I say, if wall there's a hole, so as long as there's a hole, what do I want to do? Well, I want to fill, right? And so what the computer sees this as is you, us asking the computer, hey, is there a hole? And the computer comes back and says, yep, true, true, there's a hole. If it's true, we then run the code inside of here, fill. Boop, we run it once, go back to the top, and then we ask the computer again, is there, is there a hole? The computer looks, true, yep, still a hole. So we run this code inside back to the top, and we ask again, is, is there a hole? The computer then says, uh, false, no, the hole's filled, we'll pretend like it's filled. Once it's filled, we're done with that loop and we keep going. So it works similar to a repeat loop in a way. Oh, that was just like instant. All right. So. Okay, that works for filling holes, but we don't have many blocks. We're going to want to re... How far forward? Oh, they have... Let's use path ahead since they have it. I'm going to click it down here, and then let's say move forward. If there's path ahead... No, okay. Huh. Well, so then I would want to turn right. Oh, and now I want to walk. What if I do a... Can I do path ahead inside of path ahead? No. Let, let's try a repeat. Let's give this a shot. Oh, well, wait a minute. That worked pretty well. Let's see. I think we just need to go down one more because it's once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six. So what if we repeat all of this code six times? Okay, so we have a repeat loop with two wall loops inside of it. First, we check if there's a hole. If there is, we fill it. If that is false, right? False. Nope, there's no hole. We then drop to the code beneath it and we're like, okay, walk. And then we're going to walk until we hit an edge. And then, right, path ahead. So that means once there's no path ahead, we stop moving forward. So nope, you're at an edge. We drop below it, turn right, go back, check if there's a hole, fill it if there is. Otherwise, we keep walking. I think that will do it. Let's try. We made it! Woohoo! Did we fill? Wait a minute. Oh, we walked down. All right. What if we do it like this? That way, we walk first, and then at the very end, we check. At the end of each path, we'll check if there's a hole and fill it then. This has to be it. But, uh, we got it. Awesome. Let's keep going.